Hey guys, this is Kit Kat Paddywhack, and we are back for another Let's Play episode. So in the previous episode, I have uncovered the problem that is at the root of the Mel family, which is sketchy Uncle Gamlin clearly hiding something from our dear, dear mother, and we will get to the bottom of that in the near future. And in other events, our hero, Hawk, has consulted with Aveline, and Aveline is currently escorting Hawk right now on a mission to eliminate raiders that are ambushing the caravan routes. And that is what you see right now, is we're taking out a bunch of raiders and, well, pretty much putting them in their place with some slashing and ice magic and all around good fun. Well equipped for bandits, but dead is dead and the road is clear. Captain Jevon needs to know of this. Back to the barracks for your just reward. All set. Now before we leave, just gonna disable some traps for some bit of experience points. Done. Longer do I have to wait? Not much room in the barracks. A very long There's time. There's nowhere I'd rather. There's Jevon's office. Wait while I explain our initiative. I don't know how they do it where you're from, guardswoman, but I decide the patrols, not you and your whims. You may have been put up for lieutenant in your first year, but I'll have no show offs in my command. Have I made myself clear? Report to your post before I have you and your Ferelden accomplice jailed. A lot of yelling for doing him a favor. We killed a band of highwaymen. What does it matter whose patrol it was? It's not the first time he's made me wonder like this. Something is very wrong. So let's find out whose toes you actually stepped on. Then we should check the duty roster and see who was supposed to take that route. What have I stepped in this time? Threaten my friends. Not letting that... Aveline! I owe you for clearing that ambush the other night. Saved me a mess of trouble. Brennan, that route was yours. It was. Single patrol. I'd have been dead for sure. So there was nothing unusual about it at all? It had been clear for weeks. It didn't get unusual until after we heard about you and Aveline. The captain reassigned me after he heard what you did, and I passed the satchel to Donick for his patrol tonight. The satchel? Pay and order assignment. Captain has us run deliveries to the outposts during light duty. It's usually just an updated copy of the roster. The satchel for that night was heavy, though. Anyway, thanks again, Aveline. You're a good one. So the satchel gets heavy the same day we discover an ambush. A messy way to pass information. Brennan already sent it along. Another guard is walking into the same trap. I can't let that happen. Brennan said Donick. A good man. Donick, Donick. I've got his route. A night walk in Lowtown. Let's go make sure his quiet patrol stays that way. Yeah, except that one discrepancy where we Good dispatched the highwaymen in broad daylight. It wasn't even nighttime. Well, let's set off to Low Town at night. The streets aren't safe at night. We should do something about that. You and everyone else on my team keep saying that. Ah! 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 
So one of the things I like about being rogue is, this is kind of off topic since we're fighting like a band of highwaymen here, but I love the fact that I can detect traps. It was really a pain in the butt if I didn't have Barrick on my team. But one of the things I like about being a rogue class is that I can discover traps before anyone else, and at least I'll do a better job at finding them and disarming them before they step on them. who target the streets just because it's dark. Are you answering? Ah! Sweet mother of Perth. You can't just run up on someone like that. Are you the one that mercenary told me about? The one looking for work? I used to work with the Red Iron, if that's what you mean. Yes, it is. What I mean, that is... My apologies, human. I haven't been on the surface very long. I keep thinking I'll fall up into that sky any minute. <laughs> Bartrand used to be like that. Got jumpy every time he stepped outside. What a bizarre thing to be scared of. But I digress. I need some help. Rather badly, in fact. Some product of mine has been misplaced. The men who were supposed to deliver it decided not to. If you retrieve my property, I could reward you handsomely. Just what did these men steal? <laughs> did I say steal? I don't know if I would go that far. They seemed like perfectly reasonable smugglers. They smiled and everything. The goods are valuable, however, and illegal. And my client wants them very, very badly. <laughs> you know how these Templars can be. You're smuggling Lyrium to the Templars. Maker's breath. Between the Chantry, the Carta, and the Coterie. By the Paragons, not so loudly. Oh, my word, I'm not cut out for this. I should have taken that job sweeping staples like Mother insisted. I probably should have. Sure, add it to the list of things I'm accessory to. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, Abilene. The gentlemen conduct their business at night in a little hovel within the alienage. If you have to kill them, then I guess it can't be avoided. But I'm sure they'll be reasonable. And she's mad at me for helping a dwarf smuggle Lyria. Guardsman Donick is here somewhere. Yeah, I know Donick is somewhere here, but first we'll go straight to Alienage because it's really, really important. Right, so I think with this quest being switch, there is a reason why it's under secondary and not like random side quests. Because I think to me, I interpret secondary quests as semi major quests that has to do with affecting the plot somehow. So I'd say if you're watching this Let's Play video, then I guess it should be obvious by now that you shouldn't ignore it just because the dwarf said it's out of it's made it's a Lyria that's being smuggled into the city. But the nature of this quest could be a major design flaw because I'm guessing people designing this game assume that the players will uh, pick up every single quest possible to make some money for the Deep Roads expedition. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that people who are deep set in their role playing will refuse this quest, simply because of the mention of smuggling Lyrium. We must be getting close to Okay, Aveline, we'll go Under save Donick. Not. 
down but there were too many at once the captain said this route was supposed to be quiet the seal of the viscount office details city accounts valuable to a guild of thieves a sacrificial delivery with one of our own captain jevin will answer selling out his own forget guard captain this man needs to be in government not now, Hawk. Jevon needs to see how justice works. This That's goes not what I meant. The Viscount. This will be known. The captain likes his thieves so much. Let's see if they welcome him in prison. Darn! I just wanted to point out that it's clearly a political scheme. I didn't mean for her to piss off Evelyn like that. Gotta save again. Watch right, so if you're wondering why it looked like I it. suddenly ah! teleported to the image, it's well, yeah, it was kind of boring on the way here, so I said I'd skip to the action here right now. choice but to go back to Anso and tell him. That's not the elf. Who is that? It doesn't matter. We were told to kill whoever enters the house. These streets should be safe. Hey! Ah! Let's finish this! Yeah! Come on! So clearly while I'm busy slicing these guys into chopped meat and throwing my stun grenades, the biggest question is why on earth are they talking about elf? And you guys will figure out pretty quickly who that elf is. But quickly, I hope I can get over this wave of enemies. I didn't really like the fact that after you complete the first group of enemies, then there'll be like another wave of enemies just like waiting on the rooftops, waiting until you get to like the body count of 10, then they just drop. Which is pretty annoying. I guess one of the hard times I had as a warrior, but I find an easier time is... An easier time is stunning the mages with... I guess I could call it a... Stun grenade? Before they cast spells. I don't know who you are, friend, but you made a serious mistake coming here. Lieutenant, I want everyone in the clearing, now! Captain! 
Your men are dead, and your trap has failed. I suggest running back to your master while you can. You're going nowhere, slave! <laughs> a slave. I apologize. When I asked Anso to provide a distraction for the hunters, I had no idea they'd be so numerous. I take it these men were looking for this you. This is the guy Correct. that's at the quest and duped you. These men were Imperial bounty hunters seeking to recover a Magister's lost property, namely myself. They were trying to lure me into the open. Crude as their methods were, I could not face them alone. Thankfully, Anso chose wisely. If you couldn't fight them, why not just run? There comes a time when you must stop running, when you turn and face the tiger. That seems like a lot of effort to find one slave. It is. Does this have something to do with those markings? <laughs> yes. I imagine I must look strange to you. I did not receive these markings by choice. Even so, they have served me well. Without them, I would still be a slave. If they were really trying to recapture you, then I'm happy I helped. I have met few in my travels who have sought anything more than personal gain. If I may ask, what was in the chest? The one they kept in the house. It was empty. I suppose it was too much to hope for. Even so, I had to know. You were we'll expecting never something else? I was, but I shouldn't have. It was bait, nothing more. You didn't need to lie to get my help. That remains to be seen. It's as I thought. My former master accompanied them to the city. I know you have questions, but I must confront him before he flees. I will need your help. It sounds like you intend to do more than just talk. Daenerys wants to strip the flesh from my bones, and has sent so many hunters that I've lost count. And before that, he kept me on a leash like a Canari mage. A personal pet to mock Canari custom. So, yes, I intend to do more than just talk. If it means fighting more slavers, I'll help you. I will find a way to repay you. I swear it. The Magister is staying at a mansion in Hightown. Meet me there as soon as you can. We must enter before morning. Yeah, so this is the guy who's clearly gonna be your companion because, I mean, look at that. The armor, the hair, it's so obvious. But yeah, the whole meeting with Fenris, it's like gonna be one of the very few first impressions you're ever gonna get of him because I guess he's like a mixed bag. There are people who clearly hate him, there are some people who did not like him at first but grown to like him, and then well, there are the people who clearly fangirl over him. I think it's mostly because of his voice. And I mean, like, some people can't resist his voice. I mean, aside from, like, Gideon Emery being his voice actor and, like, voice actor at Balthier, at first I couldn't resist him, even if it turns out to be, like, a dick sometimes, because it's, like, that whole effect I had with Garrus from Mass Effect. I forgot the fact that I was trying to date and bang a dinosaur. But I can't help it because Garrus had a nice voice, and in this case, Fenris has a really nice voice. And yeah, I'll just leave it at that. So now we're gonna exit Lowtown Bazaar. And I'm gonna call it quit here, and then pick it up next time. So if there's any constructive advice you can give me, like audio quality or timing, then let me know. So until then, see you later.